Before you can start coding, you're going to need to download Python and you will also need to download an editor. For downloading Python, go to python.org, then look at the uh, downloads, choose the operating system that you're, you're using. Um, it would usually detect which one you're using. For this tutorial, I'm going to download Python 3.6. So I click on that. It now starts to download here. And this opens. Uh, this is the bit I wanted to show you. This bit is really important. You need to check that. So no matter what version you download and decide to install, make sure it goes to path. Now go to PyCharm and download the community edition. That's important. Make sure you get the community edition. Once you have downloaded, open it up, get the program running, and then just follow the instructions on screen. And you just next, it says here, if you have 32 bit, then you're gonna wanna click that. Um, if you've got 64 bit, then you're gonna wanna click that. And create associations, yes, you do want to click this. Just click install. Now it's finished installing. Um, you can just click um, finish. And then we uh, then open this up and make sure this one at the bottom is clicked. I do not have previous version of PyCharm or I do not want to uh, import any settings. So just click OK. Uh, these are the uh, terms and conditions. Um, it might be a good idea to have a look at these but most people just click accept. Just create new project. Just click OK. Here I've got Python 3.3 selected. And I want to select Python 3.6. So now I click create. This is just a tips window, you can look through that. We'll give you some good tips. We can just close it for now. It may take a little while while it does its uh, thing, uh, indexing and you have uh, like an indicator here and a bar down the bottom. So now we've created our project. Um, click on the project, double click, or um, the alternate click however you, it is um, configured. Um, now Python file, give the Python file a name. I'm going to call it test and then OK and here is the file. Now we can start coding. Now you want to um, run this. So if we click on here and go down to run test. And there down at the bottom this box opens up and we have hello world. Okay, so to get rid of this box you just click that. Um, if we go to tools 
and we go to Python console we open up the Python console and there it is Python 3.6 so uh, this this console here is uh, one you can type directly into so 4 plus 4 equals 8 to get rid of it just go to this X and uh, if you want to run that again it just goes back to the other the other console okay so that's how you set it up there are several text editors integrated development environments that you can use thank you for watching please subscribe if you like these videos and you want to know more about coding or computer science and if this video was helpful please give it a like